My friends, have you ever noticed how much energy we spend seeking attention? It's like we're all trying to stand out, to be seen, and to be valued, but we do it in ways that often drain us, leaving us empty rather than fulfilled. Today, I want to share a perspective that has transformed my own journey and helped me to find a peace that doesn't depend on others' approval. Let's talk about why you shouldn't beg for attention and what you can do instead to find a sense of calm and fulfillment. Imagine a seed, quietly growing in the soil. It doesn't announce itself, it doesn't demand attention. It simply grows, and in time, it emerges as a beautiful tree or flower, contributing beauty to the world. This is the essence of a fulfilled life. A fulfilled life doesn't call out for others to watch it, it simply grows, effortlessly, with authenticity and purpose. And people who need that beauty will find it. They'll be drawn to it naturally. It's tempting to seek approval from others, to look around for signs that we are valued, loved, or admired. I remember early in my own journey, wanting so much for my teacher to notice my dedication. I would sweep the floor more often than others, I would stay later than others, always thinking, perhaps, this time, he'll see my effort. But one day, he told me something that stayed with me forever. He said, the sun doesn't wait for someone to tell it that it's bright. It simply shines. We're all like that sun. Our worth, our value, it doesn't come from outside us. It's a light that we all have within. But when we constantly chase attention, it's like we're trying to convince ourselves of our own worth through someone else's eyes. And in that chasing, we lose sight of who we truly are. Let's step back together and take a deep breath. If you stop seeking attention and instead focus on simply being the best version of yourself, you'll find something precious, inner peace. And, ironically, people are drawn to that peace, that calmness, in a way that feels natural, not forced. Like the flower that doesn't call out to the bees, but the bees find it anyway, drawn by the scent of its own quiet growth. One of the most freeing decisions you can make in life is to stop placing your happiness in the hands of others' opinions. Imagine how much lighter you'd feel if you no longer needed to worry about what others thought, if you could simply live from a place of quiet purpose. Think of your actions as seeds you're planting, not for immediate validation, but for the long-term growth of your soul. Every act of kindness, every moment of growth, every personal achievement, let that be enough. And in time, you'll find that you've built a life filled with meaning, with or without anyone else's applause. I remember a lesson I learned while meditating in the early morning, watching the sunrise. There was such beauty in the stillness, in the quiet, and I realized that the sunrise happens each day, whether anyone watches it or not. It doesn't perform, it just is. And in its simple presence, it brings light to the world. In the same way, when we are truly at peace with ourselves, we don't need anyone to confirm our worth. We are free, like the sunrise, shining our own unique light. So, what can you do, here and now, to move closer to this kind of freedom? Here's a small, but powerful, practice. Each morning, remind yourself, today, I will act with integrity. I will speak with kindness. I will work with dedication. And I will seek nothing in return. Set this intention not because you need someone to notice you, but because each of these actions nourishes your own spirit. And with time, you'll see, you'll feel, the joy that comes from living aligned with your own values, rather than trying to impress anyone else. Now, A. Gentle warning, this isn't always an easy path. People might wonder why you've become quieter, why you're less concerned with, keeping up. They may not understand. But remember, you're not walking this path for them. This is your journey, your peace, your own life unfolding. Walk it with grace, without needing permission, without needing attention. Walk it for yourself. And soon, you'll discover that you're no longer weighed down by the world's expectations. Instead, you're uplifted by the quiet joy of being exactly who you are, without apology, without the need for anything outside yourself. So, my friends, the next time you find yourself craving attention, remember that you have everything you need within. Grow like the flower, live like the sunrise, be like the seed, steadfast, true, and at peace with your own growth. Thank you for sharing this time with me. May your journey be filled with quiet strength, inner peace, and a deep sense of fulfillment. Remember, you don't need to beg for attention. Simply be, and let the world find you in its own time.